Hey Erica, it's our first review of 2021. Make sure your first line is super, super cool and fantastic. Go! Eat shit. That works. All right, but yes, here we are. It is finally 2021. We made it through 2020, that's nice. I mean, this is, feels like 2020 part two, probably. Yeah, but I'm hopeful. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Aren't you too old for that? <laughs> Shouldn't that have been beaten out of me by the world at this point? Yeah, I don't understand. I know, it's weird. Yeah. Uh, any New Year's resolutions? Again, I feel like it. it this doesn't count as a new year. Mm. That's fair. New year, same old bullshit. So, Am I right? Just just keep keep doing the same bullshit? Hell yeah. Yeah. Me, I've resolved to stop cramming hamsters up my urethra. What are we drinking today? But, uh, so we're actually getting around to doing some reviews of stuff we didn't do in 2020. Yeah. This is not like a new release or anything. In fact, I think this is pretty old. I think this is this was actually released in Tennessee in like 2016. So, uh, so we're real late. Yeah, we're, we're late. Who cares, though? We're so 2,000 and late. 2,000 and late. Yeah. Uh, I, you really enjoy working that reference into these videos. It's only happened twice. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe that'll keep going on until... <laughs> until it's not the 2000s anymore? Yeah. How long do you expect to live? The point is it goes until I die. <laughs> <laughs> so, this... Also, I'm timeless. Ah, oh, fair enough. This is... Uh, the Distiller's Edition, number five from Jack Daniels. So, they do a series of limited releases, each named for a master distiller. This one is named for Frank Thomas Bobo. So, he was master distiller from 66 up until 1988. And, in fact, he only actually died last year in January. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was 90. Died January 16th of 2020. Good for him. I'm not the guy. <laughs> Sorry, I mean making it to like 90. I got it. I got okay. what you meant. There's not actually a lot of information uh, about what this particular Jack Daniels release is on their website. It is at 43%, so that's fun. Yeah. But uh, let's get into it. Let's do it. It doesn't smell as sharp as regular Jim Beam, so I'm already into it. Jack Daniels? Jack Daniels. Same difference. Yeah, it kind of is. Huh, it's actually more, it's actually a little bit more nutty than yeah. I would expect than most Jack Daniels products to be. Yeah, I get a little toasted walnut. Maybe that's why you're Maybe thinking. Maybe not toasted walnut. Toasted nuts in general. That's like when I get a sunburn pantsless. Maybe you should stop doing that. <laughs> How else am I supposed to get the sunlight on my penis, Erica? Well, you don't tan, you just burn, so. That's true. Maybe save yourself. G gotta get that tanked tan. You don't tan. <laughs> You're only um, putting yourself in pain. I will say, yeah, it's actually interesting you say Jim Beam because this, at first glance, this could be a Beam product because it is more nutty than most Jack Daniels. Yeah. 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 I liked the nose more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a, it's a little flat. It is flat. I do get sort of a weird, that Yui note. I can't imagine can this is that. young, but it does have a weird Yui note. Is there any age on here? Mm-mm. Okay. No. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I'm not that big a fan of the taste on this guy. Me neither. It's not, the nuttiness doesn't come through. Yeah, and there's a little bit more of like a caramel thing on the nose at least. Yeah. And it's not a lot of that on the taste. It's kind of acrid actually. Yeah, that's kind of disappointing. But yeah, it's kind of just like, it, it tastes like sawdust and kind of an acrid, weird. But not even like is. good sawdust. Like, you know how some sawdust like flavors you get on whiskeys, it's like, ooh, it's like a nice woody thing. This is, mm -hmm. this is cheap wood. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a deep wood. It's not like a deep burned wood kind of thing. It's kind of a. Yeah, it's just flat. Yeah. It's just flat. Yeah. I can't, I can't say there's a whole lot of notes to this. Womp womp. Well, that's the first review of 2021. 
Yeah. Starting out how we mean to continue with mediocrity. <laughs> Look, you can't count on a lot of things in this world, but you can always count on the Rock Gut Review to be mediocre. Yeah. Or less than mediocre. We have like the barest set of standards to reach, and then we're just like, fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're not here to raise the bar. We are the bar of mediocrity. Can I say that? I think I think you can say that. I don't think it's copyrighted. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Vince McMahon, fight me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Jesus Christ. Get it. That's the mediocrity. <laughs> yeah. It takes us at least two tries to do the hand signal. All right. Yeah. Well, for such a delightful, delightfully named man. Yeah. This is not the best whiskey. No. Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Happy uh, first review of 2021. Especially because it says on the bottle, I'd rather ask for folks' patience than their forgiveness. And it's like... That's a good saying, though. It's a good saying, but it's yeah. like, it, it's not the best bottled to put that saying on, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, so until next time, we are the Rock Cut Review. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell us about things that were mediocre to you. Yeah. Besides us. Besides us. <laughs> You can tell us about ourselves. No, we're, we're very self-aware. Yeah, we know. We know already. Yeah. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay, stay rotten. rotten.